Here today is another round of Ask Google Webmasters, the series where we answer short questions about Google Search for webmasters everywhere. We usually take questions from the hashtag AskGoogleWebmasters on Twitter. But since the end of the year is coming soon, I thought we'd do something slightly different. For today's episode, I'll do short, bite-sized tidbits on questions we commonly hear. What's the difference between 301 and 302 redirects? Well, both send users onwards. The difference is subtle but small. A 301 is a permanent redirect, so the destination is what we keep. A 302 is a temporary redirect, so we'll come back to the start to double check. They're just different ways of redirecting. Use the right kind when you can, but don't worry about magical SEO dust. Both work fine. What's the difference between a 404 and a 410? Yay, more HTTP result codes. Both tell us that a page is now gone. Theoretically, a 410 can be a tiny bit faster. In practice, on a normal website, they're both processed in the same way. Don't sweat the difference. How long should my page's description meta tag or title tag be? Well, there is no fixed length. Make them unique, compelling, and useful. Provide the information that people are looking for so that we can highlight your pages optimally. Can I use symbols in my titles? Sure. We try not to show misleading symbols. And there might not be that many people searching for them, but you're welcome to use them. What about keywords and URLs? Do they matter? Words in URLs play an insignificant role for web pages, but most content management systems make it easy to use them. So I just use them if you already have them. But don't worry if you don't. That said, we do use them for image files, though. So cute robot.gif is definitely better than image-1138.gif. Does it matter if I use PHP or HTML endings for pages? No, both are fine. I'd also recommend not changing from one to the other unless you're already making bigger changes elsewhere. Don't sweat it seems to be the motto today, right? Well, some things are easy, so let's focus on the bigger picture. What is the secret to ranking better, John? Well, there's no secret, sorry. Having a website that's on a technically strong foundation with awesome content is a great way to start. Compare it to, well, baking the best cookie. You want something made from good ingredients by trustworthy bakers, ending up with something that's not just the same as you'd get elsewhere. Stand out. Use a good technique with great content. Make something that's the best by far, something you'll be proud of for the long run. Our algorithms don't count the words on a page, similar to how you wouldn't judge a cookie just by its weight. If you want your pages to be recommended as something awesome, then make something awesome. Well, 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 that's all for today. I hope you found this video useful. Is there something on your mind that you'd like to send our way to get answered? Post using the hashtag AskGoogleWebmasters, and we'll try to pick it up for a future episode. Want to stay in the loop? Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And tune in next time for the next episode. And happy holidays.